morning and welcome to vlogmas day because it's sunday sunday the 8th so that's day eight i've been really slacking on this vlogmas like daily i mean i'm not doing daily this year hold on oh my gosh you guys i was just doing dishes and my belly was like pressed against like the counter because my belly reaches the counter before i do right so like i'm just like i always like lean against the surface that i'm like doing stuff on like when i'm doing my makeup and stuff or my hair like i just lean against the counter it's just something i do um and so now i'm out of breath because i was like pushing Okay, anyways, so yeah, I'm not doing daily like vlogs every day, so I'm not vlogging every day till Christmas like I did last year, kinda. Um, <clears throat> I'm just doing like what videos I come up with, what I decide to do. There's nothing specific I'm doing, there's nothing like, I have nothing planned. Well, the first two, well, first day I had planned, I knew it was gonna be Thanksgiving recap. And then the second one was actually going to be an actual vlog of like me explaining this, but that didn't happen. His gender reveal would be one too, though. I just didn't think it'd be the second video I uploaded. Anyways, hi, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've liked the two vlogmas videos that I put up. Um, I'm obsessed with my intro, by the way. I think it's so cute my favorite um song from a christmas vacation so i think it's so cute and i can't wait for bean to be in it next year <laughs> today we are 32 weeks with bean well me with bean he's 32 weeks <laughs> believe it it has like flown by um i'm so i feel like i'm getting bigger but I also feel like I'm not like he just he's a thick um guy look at this thing we're 32 weeks today Whew. I feel like he's getting bigger oh my gosh look at this thing insane so now to come excuse me um are you in my bed? Your bed's right there. I got my sheets all dirty. What are you doing? Are you in my bed? And you got a ball in bed? Wow, living the life. I'm like waiting for this thing to pop any day now. So anyways, oh, wow, I look, I look great. So anyways, here. Since we're getting his crib today, I need to organize this room because right now it's like half storage, half bean. So, and you, oh my gosh, I have to show you this. Well, because my sister lives in Texas and so they went to go visit her and they went to uh, Waco to the Magnolia, um, Magnolia like silos or you know, like the, is it just called Magnolia? You know, like Chip and Joanne's Anyways, they got him this little onesie and I'm so excited to put it on him. So those two blit, two, I think coffee's kicking in because I am now all over the place. These two blue bins are like storage basically. So those are like summer clothes and just random things. And then this was um, like home decor and like Christmas stuff. And then his mom just brought me that and then our air conditioner for the summer and then these two are like my beauty stuff that was in my beauty room at drum these well that's just trash that has like some miscellaneous stuff in it that like needs to just be put away like in storage or like in the basement <clears throat> this has all my old like baby stuff in it this is to be donated like I need to take all that to like goodwill and then that's just random stuff that needs to be put away and swaddles and whatnot. 
that's just a box of um, just like little random, just random stuff. Um, and then my lovely, lovely chonies that I'll get to wear. Beautiful, beautiful, can't wait. I have to wash those. And then these are just more, um, just like little blankets and cozy things that people have gotten him. <sighs> we have wipes, just random gifts, random little things we've gotten. Um, just stuff we can't really touch right now because, you know, like, it won't be needed until he gets here. Um, I gave you a sneak peek in, well, I just gave you another one. I don't know if any of you catched it. I don't know if any of you catched it, but I basically gave you like a sneak peek of what his um, room theme is gonna be uh, in the last vlog. So, and I think just right now I basically did, but I'm not gonna like specifically show you. <laughs> I'm gonna be like that, like I am with the name. Hee <laughs> hee, sorry. Okay, just unwrapping my chonies. <laughs> Ooh, these are going to be so sexy. I got these ones. These ones are. I'll do a video about like what I'm putting in my hospital bag and stuff, and like postpartum stuff. Um, but for right now, I guess I'll just show you these. Um, I got these ones in case I um have like a c-section because it's like high rise so it'll um like the scar would be like right here you know you never know i just prepared for who knows you know Just trying to eat my pizza here. <laughs> I hate the way the mountains look on my camera. I feel like no matter how many pictures you take, it just never. It won't justify like. They look so small in pictures. Yeah. They don't ever look as pretty as they are. No. Even on my like nice camera, it doesn't look like it. It's really annoying. When I was at school, people tell us What is he doing? 
he's just like sitting there. <laughs> I'm so confused. The hell? <laughs> What a weirdo. Literally no one here but us. We're way the fuck up for us, dude. Or we were already fucking past Costco. I know it says no picture, but here's just the room. <laughs> Already dropped my kid. Cute boy. It wouldn't be one of my vlogs if I didn't vlog one day, not vlog for like a week straight, and then vlog again. So, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, okay, I have a a lot's kind of happened since um, I last vlogged. Um, I'm just, honestly, I'm just pregnant. Oh, I didn't realize it was upside, sorry. So as you can see, the crib is up. That's a whole story. Okay, let's just start. So we got the crib on Sunday. That's when I last vlogged. That was fun until the person who had sold it to us, like, I should have, ugh. So here's my thought process. I wanted to buy one just because like, oh, just so it's like brand new for him and everything. So, but I'm making like sacrifices on like what I want to buy brand new and like what I think will be okay for thrifted or like, what is it? But like bought and used. So the crib was one of the things that I took a hit on. She didn't know the brand names. She didn't know the brand or like the style. But luckily it was on one of the like, um, on like one of the wood pieces. Cause I messaged her and I was like, Hey, do you know? And she's like, no, sorry. I bought it like four years ago from baby Zara. So I was like, great. The screws were stripped, like trying to like put it together. So we couldn't even like tighten it fully. But then turns out he was just using, um, the wrong size, like not bulbs sized um screws like he was using the bottom ones that go down here for like the top up there and but everything's fine it's all fine i i'm just pregnant and hormonal so when he was getting pissed off about it like just like i was getting like really upset like of course i buy this crib and of course it's this one thing i buy off of facebook market and it's a flop and that wasn't very fun. That's why I did not finish the vlog that night because <laughs> I was just like crying all night. Obviously very thankful and like, it's, it's perfect. Do you see how it, it's just like, it's just like straight. Um, a lot 
sexy. I love, I just love how that looks. A lot of um, crepes I was looking at, they're, um, they, they're called sleigh beds and I hate that style so much. I Maybe if I was having a girl, maybe, you saw I did all his laundry, so I have it all sorted out here on his bed in months. Um, currently in his closet right there is newborns. It's just all newborns. Oh my gosh, Monday. <laughs> That's what happened on Monday. Monday, I was just in full nesting mode. I cleaned this house from corner to corner. There's not one corner that is not touched. So I didn't really vlog that. I didn't really play. I wasn't like planning to. I just like was in full mom nesting pregnant woman mode so and also me cleaning is very traumatic to look at because I just his belly gets in the way of everything and but yeah um so I didn't vlog on Monday and then Tuesday I felt I don't know how how to explain this other than I felt hungover I think it's because I just think it's because it has me cleaning all day on Monday that my body was like, chill, like you can't be like going that hard, like you, you need to like slow down. So Tuesday was basically like in bed all day because like I just, my body was in so much freaking pain. Like literally when I say hungover, it's because I felt dehydrated. Like I, um, my body hurt, like I just had body aches um I was like nauseous like I just <clears throat> I don't know like I just had like um a dry nose like a dry like you can kind of hear it in my voice I just had like um I just felt like ugh, I don't know if you've ever been like hung over from alcohol it's, I don't know that's just literally how I felt I don't know I didn't really do anything yesterday oh I started his um I cleaned his co okay so Tuesday, I think it was, I kind of started putting together my, um, my hospital bag just because I keep having dreams of me going into labor and Justin's having the same dreams. So I'm like, this is a sign. I'm not going to take it lightly, but I mean, obviously it could be absolutely nothing, but I just want to be prepared because the last thing I want is to be in labor, like scrambling around trying to like put together my freaking bag so, so I just did his um all of I almost said his name the baby's name and I, I did all his laundry so I'm letting um Oliver smell it but, hey smell wow this is that yeah what is this is this the baby's bless you is this the baby stuff look smell I'm starting to leave because usually I close the store and I don't want anybody like come in or look at it but lately I'm leaving it open yeah I'm leaving it open so that he can like come in here and get used to the space and not be so like freaked out like with the crib and like everything anyways anyway and I mean technically it's not anything like crazy like I just threw in like what I think I might need and like from here on out I can start like switching stuff out or switching stuff in like I clean out my makeup bag, make sure it's just like easy and accessible for me to like grab and go. Everything, so maybe I'll, I'll show you some. Oh, I'm chewing. Okay, so I grabbed two of his swaddles, or just like muslin blankets. This is his car seat cover. Um, I have his coming home outfit, which I'm not gonna show you. Ew. Well, this one technically doesn't say, well, okay. I'm not showing you his coming home outfit just because I want it to be a surprise. Because why not? And then I am packing this onesie. It's like a sleeper kind of thing. Well, this little guy. It just has the little feet. And then this has like the little, the little hand covers. So it's just something simple and it has a little puppy on it. I love it. Or is it a bear? It's an animal. <laughs> so I just packed this one and then I just have like um, a onesie to go underneath it if needed. Fuzzy socks. 
um, my nursing bra, which is just like a little, um, it's literally just like a lace. And then it has like the clips right here. And then a sports bra, just in case this isn't gonna be comfortable or gets dirty or whatever. Um, I have my Dwell in Slumber dress. It's just, it's Dwell in Slumber. My sister got it for me, but if I don't want to wear the hospital gown, like, the second day we're there, or just if I just want to feel more comfy, just wear this one. It'll be cute if I take, like, a picture or two in. And it has pockets, and it's just nice. Really it for me. I haven't packed anything for Justin. Um, as in like his clothes wise, but honestly, I told him like, you can just put that in as I'm like, probably whatever in, you know, like it's not that big of a deal. Like these little, um, they're reusable, um, makeup, bamboo makeup pads, but I'm going to be using these as my, um, my, my nursing, like my nursing, so I don't leak everywhere. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know, I don't, just in case. And then today in my, I've been waiting for because my TMI, my nipples are already getting so dry. So I got this nipple crack. You wanna smell? <laughs> It's Tiny Human Supply Co. Nipple Crack Habit Forming Nipple Balm. I got it off Amazon. And I've, I've heard, can you please? I read like a, re a lot of reviews on this. That it's good for like babies with, um, I guess they're called like milk chap lips I get. So, I guess that's good for them. And then it's also good for my lovely nursing nipples. Boy, did your body change when you get pregnant. It doesn't smell like anything. It just smells like Vaseline to be itch. I need to quit talking and rambling because I still have something else to ramble about that happened today, so. Ooh. Ooh. So as you can see behind me, we've gotten more stuff. So his mom got us this. It's just a little um, baby Einstein. It's a sky explorers walker she also got us this little like do you see how it turns into like a chair for him and then like it vibrates and stuff for when he's an infant i don't know it's super super cool we saw it on black friday Oy. a friend of mine got us another um little frida baby basics so it comes with the lovely no suffer <laughs> It comes with the gas um, passers. So there's five of them, a nail file and clipper, and then the little, um, it's like a silicone pad for his um, top of his head for if he has cradle crap, cradle, <laughs> cradle cap. But who knows, this kid has so much hair, we'll see. And then my sister, oh, that, hold on. My address is definitely on that, start all over. <laughs> my sister the little solely baby wrap and it's just black it's nothing crazy i just want it black so yeah there's all his little baby socks i don't think we've gotten anything new when we went and did our 4d ultrasound they gave us um this little infamil formula stuff so. and then before his mom left she bought him this little little camo bear i think it's the sweetest thing ever it is so stinking cute but yeah so that's about it i don't really i don't think there's much else huh oh so yeah now debating on if i want to talk about why we went to go get another ultrasound today You know I don't want to talk about it, huh? You know. This dog always consents when I'm like about to cry. Ugh. Um, so, when we did his original, now this video is about to get like all like somber, sorry.
So ever since we did his 20 week ultrasound appointment, you know, where they do like the whole anatomy scan, where they look at his heart, his, you know, count his limbs, his brain, make sure everything's developing all correctly. We sadly got bad news that his, one of his kidneys was a little enlarged. So we had to go back in 10 weeks later at my 30 weeks and get another um, ultrasound done, like anatomy scan done, um, and kind of check on it to make sure that it hadn't progressed or that it hadn't, or to see if it even fixed itself, right? So, do I even like bash poor Carson and I haven't even given birth there yet? I'm not bashing them, but it's very annoying what happened. So we didn't find out about this until, cause they told us if they don't call, everything's good, right? If they call, then there's bad news, right? That's usually like the kind of scenario that happens. So they didn't call. Well, we go to our 30, how many weeks was I? I think I was, I was 28 weeks. Yeah, I was 28 weeks and I called and I was like, okay, I haven't been seen since I've been like 14 weeks. Can I please get an appointment? And they're like, oh yeah, of course. So at my 28 week appointment, the midwife comes in and says, okay, so you guys know about your baby's kidneys, right? Me and Justin look at each other. No, we have no idea. Thanks for, first off, thanks for starting it out like that. Don't ever start a conversation out like that. It's gonna piss me off all over again. But anyways, moving past that. So no, we don't know. Our midwife goes, oh. Okay, well at your 20 week anatomy scan, uh, one of his, or his kidneys looked a little bit larger than normal. It, it happens in boys. Like it's not that big, it's not uncommon. Like usually corrects itself when they're born. Like just like, telling me all this stuff, but like, I'm in complete shock because this entire time for eight weeks, I've been thinking my baby is fine because you guys didn't call me and tell me these bad news. It's just very frustrating. Such a shitty way to find out. So anyway, she gets us in two weeks later to check up on them. They still haven't corrected themselves. So then we get, um, this is where we're at now. So we get called, or we get, um, what is it? We get referred to the, um, to get a level two uh, ultrasound at a specialist. So this is where we went today. What I like about this is that we got the scan and the results on the same day. So I'm not sitting here worried, calling, you know, just, uh, Anyways, he's fine. She says that he, that they haven't gotten worse, but they haven't fixed themselves as well. And that, um, that she just, she gave me two options. Well, she gave us two options. She said she can either refer us to a pediatrician and go through our options, or we can wait it out. And on January 9th, we can go back in get another skin and see how it's going from there um like closer to my due date to see if they've because there's no she said there was no worry or concern because they haven't they haven't like um they haven't it hasn't gotten worse right so she's hoping and she says most likely what will happen is that after birth um because right now he's so big in me. He is five pounds, two ounces inside of me right now. And I don't even look that pregnant. This little boy, he, the way he's sitting in me, she says he's like so curled up. Like his, he's just like sucking on his feet like this. Like his feet are up here and he's just like in this big ball. She said that he could be just like, like making the kidneys do that by the way he's sitting like just like pushing on them. So they look kind of funky. Um, but everything else looks good. Like his bladder's normal, like his heart is normal, like his brain, everything is perfect and healthy. It's just 
these kidneys are a little enlarged and so it's a little like worrisome um but to but the other option was to wait it out because after a few wet diapers after they're born and after he stretches out and after you know he's not in this big ball that they will correct themselves but if they don't um then we have options to go on from there and so uh we opted to not see a pediatrician because if she's not concerned and if she's not worried then why should i be um so that's kind of where we're at right now <laughs> it's kind of just like a sad situation just because like like his, like why do his kidneys have to be like you know like ugh. it's just it sucks but um he's perfect he's healthy everything's good like i said five pounds so this boy is just he's so big and there's just like nowhere for him to be like for him to grow in here it's it's kind of i don't know how i'm not like huge <laughs> and i'm only 32 weeks four days and this baby is ginormous i also got my my flu shot today so ever since we got home this morning at like 10 i've been sleeping <laughs> and laying in bed and I just got up because I was like, I should film this so I can put out Vlogmas 3 because I feel bad for not vlogging. I just, I'm not, it sounds horrible, but I'm just like not in the Christmas spirit. Um, I mean, I am, but like at the same time, like I'm just like more wrapped around having like this baby and like worrying about him. <sighs> so yeah everything's good I'm that appointment went better than I thought I was like up all night because I just it just like worries me because uh, I don't know and even she was like I'm so sorry this is like your guys is like first um your first baby and you're already having to like come see a freaking kidney specialist because like you shouldn't have to you know what I mean baby's good and that's all I can hope for and everybody keep him in like your thoughts and your prayers and send all the good vibes and hopefully this resolves itself when he's born because that would be phenomenal but if not I'm so thankful for all the doctors and technology we have nowadays to help fix it and if you have a boy or if you're pregnant with a boy, I would love to know if you went through the same thing because I've been trying to find YouTube videos, I've been trying to find like blogs, but like no one I guess wants to talk about it. So I guess that's kind of why I'm making this. Um, I mean, I'm not in any way, shape or form like the best at giving advice or like I don't know, but sharing my situation might help someone else going through the same thing because it's super scary and it sucks, but I think it'll be okay. Everything will be okay. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to decide to vlog the rest of the night because we're not doing anything, um, or I might end it here because, yeah. Let the spirit of the season carry us away. Keep